Hello everyone and welcome to another MetaApps tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to track events on MetaApps using the event setup tool. Step number one, please like the video and subscribe to the channel because it helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And now let's go straight to the point. You need to access your Facebook business manager or your Meta business suite. Whichever the case, you need to go to the mega menu and you need to navigate to events manager. So if you are using the business manager, you are going to click to the mega menu option and you're going to find events manager. If you cannot see it up here, it is under advertise right here. If you are using the meta business suite, you are going to click on all tools. You're going to find the events manager. If you cannot see it here, it is under advertise you are going to open it right here, Events Manager. Now, once we are here, we are going to go to Data Sources. And before we get started, we need to make sure we are in the right place. So we are going to go on the top right hand side, click the drop down menu and make sure you are under the right business, especially if you are a freelancer or agency or you are managing multiple accounts. Now that we are in the right place, we are going to select the pixel that we are going to use. So we are going to click on the pixel that we are going to use right here. So we're going to use the first pixel in our case for the example. And once the page loads fully, we are going to click on add events on the right hand side of the screen. You're going to see this button add events. We're going to click on it. We're going to say add new integration. We're going to select Meta Pixel and click on the Setup button. And we are going to select Event Setup Tool. Now we're going to click on Get Started and open Event Setup Tool. Now, I don't know who created this experience, but it is what it is. We're going to take the steps. At this stage, what you need to do is to copy the URL of the page that you want to work with. So let's say I want to track events, let's say on this page, for example. So I'm going to take this URL, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to paste it in here, and we're going to click on add events. The system now will open my website with a floating box on the left hand side. Here we go. So you're going to see this floating box on the left hand side. And we have two options. Either we can say this is the action, meaning this URL is the event. We want to track the URL. And then we're going to say this is an add to cart, a checkout page, whatever it is. And we're going to track the entire URL. So every time somebody visits this URL, that's the event. Or we're going to say we want to track a new button. So we're going to click here. Everything will be grayed out other than the buttons that the system recognizes. And let's say I want to track clicks on this button as an event. I'm going to select this button. I'm going to label it. So what type of event is this? Is it an add to cart? Is it a checkout? Is it something else? So we're going to say view content. I'm not going to assign any value because we don't make any money every time somebody clicks here. And we're going to confirm. And now you're going to see a little check next to this button. You can track as many buttons as you like on every page. If you have the same button on multiple pages, you only need to set this up once. So let's say we want to track also clicks to this button. We're going to click on track a new button, select. We're going to label it as view content. We are not going to assign any value. We're going to confirm. And that's it. Once you're happy with your setup, you're going to click on finish setup. Finish here. We're going to skip the feedback. And that's all you had to do. Now your events will start tracking. You're going to see them under this list. Remember that we label these events as view content. So these actions are going to count under the view content option here. What this means now is that you can A, track these events in your Meta Ads Manager and B, you can also select view content as an optimization goal for your Meta Ads campaigns. That's all. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and have a great day in any time zone.